Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we're gonna be taking a look at the Double Ender by God Friends. It costs around 20 bucks. And it is really, really good. This will, this will be a full review. We're gonna be taking off flying for a bitch. And we're gonna be taking a look at the aircraft. But, spoilers, this is really, really, really good. This might be uh, the best push plane for Microsoft Flight Simulator that came out this year. So what do you get with the Double Ender? Um, realism options, such as wear and tear, engine stress, uh, electrical failures. There's a campsite, we're gonna be checking this out uh, later, but there's a campsite. Dirt. Real dirt. Your aircraft gets dirty. Uh, the model, as you are about to see, was extremely well done. The sounds, you're gonna be checking out in a bit. Flight model, but really, wear and tear, dirt, failures, the circuit breakers, they do work. Look at this beauty. This is a fairly odd looking aircraft. As you can see, we have two engines. So it's very, very unique. If you're not new to the channel, um, I went a little while without posting. I was sick for a while, but I am back. So this aircraft did come out uh, not too long ago, but not that recently. Look this. It is a tail dragger. And if you are wondering, this is Clark Memorial Field by Burn and Blue Design. So yeah, this airport just came out recently. We're gonna be flying around the airport and around the area so we can basically test the aircraft and see all of its features. This here is the inside. Very, very basic, but looking good. The parking brake is the blue lever right here. Two engines. You can leave this on auto or manual. I'm just gonna leave this on auto. Battery master. Pumps, alternators, um, and then the starters. If you have a duo throttle setup, engine number one and two. Down here we have the fuel selectors, trim, autopilot, fuel dump, circuit breakers, and it works. Light hours, ELT. Back here we have our camping gear. Pretty, pretty sweet. So yeah, master battery is on. Everything is off. Fuel selector, both. Both. And avionics. I'm gonna turn on the strobe since we have no beacon and nav lights. And before I start, we actually have a headset. Pretty nice, pretty nice. Here we have our screens. I'm just gonna turn on the rare engine first. Uh, starter, no, uh, magnetos. Yeah, magnetos and then pump. A little bit of throttle. Is it on? It is. Yeah. Alternator. Pump. A little bit of throttle. Yeah, looking good. 
Come off. That's for Nader. And we can see it's spinning. We have no taxi lights, so I'm gonna be turning on the Lenny lights. This is what the engine sounds like. Let me bump up the sound a pitch. There we go. It's not too loud, luckily. Inside, and then we have the headset. Yeah, it really, really dims the, the sound. It dampens the sound quite a bit. Pretty, pretty nice stuff. Here we have these two screens, and you can check different stuff. You can uh, change the configuration. So you can push this, and then you can... Yeah. Very, very nice stuff. Uh, exit. Next one. So, belly pod. Rare seat. If you want the camping gear, you do have to remove the, the rare seat. You do. A realism. Ground physics. Tie down. Speedo cover. Camping sight. So yeah, we're gonna be checking this out in a bit. We're gonna be landing somewhere. Uh, aircraft dirt. We do get dirty. Propeller spinners. Uh, all this. V speeds. If you basically want to remove. Mind yourself. Uh, full flap stall 31. Yeah. Here we can do some maintenance. So, yeah, this kind of stuff, it is uh, persistent. You do have wear and tear. So, brakes, they do wear out. Here you can manually change things. Here you can top up the oil, uh, the fuel even. So, you can select long range it's gonna fill your fuel all the way up mid-range competition yeah very very nice stuff map is open and grenader one yeah so we do have these lights initiators what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be taxiing to the runway Ground handling is really, really nice if you have the realistic option on. You do have to brake and... yeah. Very, very nice. And if you don't like this, you can go here on... Ground physics, authentic... And you can change this, simplified, exit. And now it should be as it is for all other aircraft. Yeah. So if you want the realistic option, you should use the other option. If you want it a little bit easier, this is the one you go with. And as you can see, the turning radius is fantastic. If you don't have, like, uh, paddles so you can do independent uh, break-in, maybe. The simplified version will be a lot easier. Okay, we are holding short of the runway, so headset is coming on. Um, fuel selector on both, both sides. Okay, looking good. And if you look down here, we do have an autopilot. Let's look for the wind socket. The wind should be calm, but you know, it is Microsoft Flight Simulator, so wind is kinda. The wind changed. <laughs> I just checked and the wind was completely different. Okay. But it looks calm enough. Uh, the flaps, it's here. 
And if you look, pretty, pretty nice. So if you go on the outside, here on the outside, you can see pull down, pull up, and then let's call this position two. It kind of extends the, the surface of the wing. So I assume this would be a lot better for uh, cruise level. Some flaps. There we go. Flaps up. This is a nice little area. Lots of trees, lots of bushes. But fairly nice. We can open this tiny little AC. <laughs> this is our AC. Flight model is very, very responsive, not too sensitive. It is also very, very forgiving, I would say. And by forgiving, I mean very forgiving. Very fun as well. <laughs> very, very fun. Let's get some altitude. Let's go up to 9,000 and we should be good. One, one, yeah. Eight, nine. Flight model. Losing our speed. Not stall speed yet. Nice. Look at our altitude. We gained altitude. That's how forgiven this is. <laughs> that is how forgiven this is. And I've got to say I like aircrafts that are like this. I do enjoy goofing around sometimes. And since we do have a campsite in the back of this aircraft, um, we could go for a hike. We have some wind turbines. More wind turbines. I had no clue they had wind turbines here. Okay, so far so good. Outside our temperature 20C. Let's see if we can lose some airspeed. Flaps. Flaps. Full flaps. I do see this thing here. We're gonna see if we can use this as a runway. Let's be honest. Anything is a runway. Anywhere is a runway if you are brave enough. <laughs> Especially when you when you're in a bush plane, and you can land very very fast here with barely any runway. I 
I personally don't believe we're going to encounter um, any wind turbine um, hitboxes as long as we stick to this path. But let's see. Our stall speed is 31. So we should be Gucci. Barely any, any runway. <laughs> See how sweet this is? Parking brake is engaged. Um, I believe we have to turn off the engine for the campsite. Let's see. Um, campsite. Deployed. There we go. And you do need uh, some cargo for this. So yeah, if you have no cargo, it's not going to work. So we can camp here by the wind turbines, and when we are tired, we can just pack up, go home. I've got to say, this is really, really nice. This is a sweet, sweet aircraft. I've got to say, uh, God friends, they keep surprising me. They keep releasing absolutely sweet aircrafts. Things I never really expected to fly, really. Ooh, that was close. That was close. Let's gain some airspeed. Flaps up. They have some very, very unique aircrafts, and this is one of them. Uh, I dare say this might be the best push plane released for Microsoft Flight Simulator this year. At least in my opinion. Because I'm taking into account wear and tear. Um, state saving. So the fuel and the oil, they are saved here. So oil and fuel, it is saved. So that is saved. We even have some dirt. We can see some dirt here, just a little bit, but yeah, on top of the wings, uh, below the wings, I mean. About top, nope. Yeah, the underside of the aircraft is definitely dirty. Definitely dirty. So, what do I think about this aircraft? This sounds, I like them a lot. They are excellent. The flight model is extremely forgiving, but fun. Uh, I like the, the flight model. The aircraft itself is one of my favorite bush planes in the sim. Uh, if you like bush flying, I highly, highly recommend this one. Um, yeah, I really do believe this is one of the best bush planes out there. And when I take into account both the dirt and the wear and tear and state saving and, and all of this and how well done this is. Yeah, that that's a very, very, very nice package. And it's a pretty good price. This is 20 bucks, I believe. And I will have a link for this in my description down below. Let me know what you think, and if you enjoyed this aircraft, tell me. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, it helps me out a lot. And it also lets me know you guys enjoy the content, and wherever you are, I hope you stay safe, fly safe. Bye bye.